everyone and welcome back to my channel well guys i have no idea how it is going in your part of the world but here in europe it's already mid april when i start working on this doll and the weather is so bad that it feels like something between november and february it's all the time dark raining sometimes even snowing every night it drops to the freezing point some, some it's every night around zero degrees really i don't know there is something seriously wrong with the weather this year spring just doesn't want to arrive so i thought we would make a persephone doll trying to summon the spring let's call the spring together because it feels like they're sitting there with hades in the underworld i don't know self-isolating or something quarantining or something like this so let's make a very spring looking persephone doll today really like an embodiment of spring i don't know write it by the way in the comments how is it going in your part of the world i understand that in australia and new zealand is autumn now but anyway probably even your autumn is better than our spring so i thought it would be actually a very cool project we will make a very cool persephone we will try to call the spring together and then somewhere maybe around november or something like this we will make the second version of Persephone so today it's a spring edition today she is gonna be a goddess of spring and then yeah somewhere around winter we will make the underworld edition of Persephone the winter edition of Persephone so I think it's gonna be very cool to make the same character in her two different looks in her two different editions so let's start working guys please don't forget to subscribe to my channel I upload new dolly paint videos every week Friday sometimes every second week Friday depends on the project so please also hit the bell button to get notified about my new dolly paint videos videos on this channel and of course please support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Well guys and now we're going to start working. Let's use this Frankie doll as a model for our new project. I don't know it's just one of my favorite face molds. Frankie seems super cute to me. So now let's undress her, cut her hair off and then I will warm her head up with a hair dryer to make her head soft to be able to disconnect it from the body. And then I take my tweezers and I pull out the rest of the short hair from the inside of the head together with all this nasty sticky glue. And the next step is removing her face with pure acetone. I want to give her this light ginger hair, really such a super spring looking hair color, perfect for our spring version of Persephone. So now I will cover her head with flesh tint acrylics and then I will give her new hair using my rerouting tool. Thank you. 
Okay, here is her new hair completely finished and it looks absolutely lovely. So now I will add some glue inside of the hat and I will let it dry overnight. I actually ran out of tacky glue, so I'm going to use this other contact glue instead. When the glue gets dry, I spray the face with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and then I'll start working on her face. And first of all, I want to turn her skin tone from green into some light nude, just in three easy layers. And first of all, I cover the face with two layers of light pink pastels and it will neutralize the light green. And then I can apply a layer or two of some very, very light brown pastels. Now we can draw the eyes and apply shadows also around the eyes. And the lips we can also start drawing already now. I want to give her green eyes, I think it would look very pretty with her rose gold hair and rose gold dress that I will show you later. And in the end I want to add some extra blush to her cheeks and also to the eyelids. Okay, I think I'm happy with her face and now I want to perform the same trick on her body because the color difference is quite big right now. So first of all I will sand the body with nail buffers to remove this gloss from the surface. Then I will seal it with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear and after this I will apply all the same pastels in the same order.
So now I think I'm happy with her face and body, they look pretty much the same and now we can move on to the outfit, accessories and other exciting things. And first of all I want to show you the dress that my mom has made. I ask you to keep it very simple but also very chic and classy at the same time. And this is what she has made, it has a very elegant silhouette and it's made out of a beautiful rose gold natural silk. Really, it's a very pretty material, very pretty fabric and the skirt falls very pretty down and I also really love that the color of the dress fits our doll's new hair color. They've been really made for each other, the hair and the dress. So now let's make a bunch of accessories for her and check it out. My husband bought all tiny fake flowers in our local stores. I'm really sitting here like in a flower store myself and now we will use this flower to make a flower crown for our doll and I'm starting actually with making a base for the crown out of warbler So this is it, this is how it's going to sit on her head and now let's decorate it with leaves and flowers with all kinds of stuff. I don't really have any special plan or pattern of how to do it, I'm just going to combine it all together, I don't know, the way I like it, the way it looks good together.
and check it out guys this is where i've ended up and really it looks so 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 pretty i'm really so happy about the end result and her face and her hair they look so beautiful decorated with this flower crown i'm really in love with it so I'm very happy about it and now let's make also a pair of shoes for our doll and you know I'm not really trying to make her look Greek or especially ancient Greek but for her shoes I went to Greece for inspiration and I've decided to make something like these sandals here because I want to make something really cute but at the same time quite simple because she's all you know kind of fresh and natural girl so, first of all, I'm making the basic shoes out of Warbler Thermoplastic. Then I'm covering them with acrylics. The front of the shoes I want to decorate with flowers. To the back of the shoes I'm attaching a green ribbon, it will go around her ankles. And here are the finished shoes, they're very cute, very subtle, very also spring looking. But you know that Persephone came to this spring feast straight from the underworld. And she is actually also the queen, the goddess of the underworld. And I want to give her something that would connect to Hades and to the underworld, to this other side of life. And I start with printing a bunch of human skulls as well as palm grenades using my 3D printer. And check it out what we've printed here. It all looks absolutely adorable, really like adorable human skulls. So now let's wash it with acetone, cure and paint. I've chosen to make palm grenades because this is actually one of the symbols of Hades and of the underworld. When he already agreed to let Persephone go back to her mother, he still tricked her into eating a couple of palm grenade seeds, connecting her by doing this with the underworld forever. So I thought Hades would send a basket with palm grenades and some human skulls to his beloved mother-in-law.
Okay, the fruits and the skulls turned out absolutely adorable. Pomegranates look almost real. So now let's make a basket out of a twisted warbler. So, and this is where I've ended up with it. It looks very much like an old-fashioned basket. So, now let's paint it and put the fruits inside. Okay guys, the gifts from Hades are ready to be brought to our world, thank you very much. And I also want to add a couple of skulls to the flower crown to connect it to the underworld. Maybe just one or two of them hidden between the flowers, but we will know that they are there, that our girl not just a goddess of spring, but that she is also a goddess of the underworld. And now I still want to make a flower arc, it will complete our spring composition. And I will use a foam tube and a piece of thick foam as a base. And first of all I will cover the base with fake leaves. Then I'm making holes in the base and I will install the tube into the holes. So and now you can see we've got the base of our arc and now we can take the rest of our fake flowers and decorate the arc. And again I don't have any special plan, any special pattern, I'm just going to connect it all together hoping that it would look good somehow.
So check it out, this is the arc that I've made and you know it looks really super pretty, like a real flower arc at some, I don't know, some special event back in the time when we still had some special events. But anyway, the arc looks pretty, we're almost there guys, but I still need to style her hair and I actually really love the way her hair look in this flower crown, like so natural, so effortless, so I want to keep this effortless effect and I will just curl the ends of her hair a little bit to give it some pretty direction. So this is what I've got as a result, this is where I've ended up, really cute hair, I really love this doll today, the face, the hair, the crown, really, I'm already in love. So now let's still attach false lashes, add glossy varnish to horizon lips, and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures. I just want to show you how I install the basket in her arms using a hair elastic and it's also a useful information for the future owner of the doll because of course this doll cannot hold this basket on her own, I fix it always with some see-through hair elastics. So guys, here is our finished Persephone in her spring appearance and you know I think we've done quite a good job today because this doll is just screaming spring and summer. This is officially the most spring looking doll on this channel so I think Hades just must let Persephone go now and by the way the weather has become better since I started working on this project while well, it's still very fresh but at least it's sunny and not snowing anymore. So I will think that this is my art worked and it helped us to bring Persephone and spring back to earth in our hemisphere at least. And don't even try to convince me that this is not true. Well, and seriously speaking, I'm really looking forward to make a dark version of Persephone in the winter. I still have a couple of skulls and pomegranates left over, so I think I will need them all for that project. And it's gonna be really cool, like dark Persephone, the queen of the underworld, really, it will be absolutely epic. But it will be just in six months or so, and for now we can make some other mythological creatures, some gods, goddesses, I don't know, who would you love? to see next. Like always, please let your ideas in the comments under this video, because this is where I'm going to look for inspiration every time I don't know what else to make. I'm always going straight to my comments, so please write your ideas there, and maybe one day I'm going to make the doll that you would love to see. So, and if you need this young lady in your house, please check the link in the description under this video. You can find this doll on eBay for three days, like always, so please check it out, maybe this one is for you. So guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week, I really hope you enjoyed it today, and if so, please don't forget to support my art on YouTube with your likes, of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, and I will see you already very soon next week Friday in my new doll repaint video. Love you guys, bye!